up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to do your very own laminated brows like a pro at home with one easy tip. So if you wanna see what I use, just keep on watching. All right, you guys, I am going to let you in on the world's best kept secret on how to perfect your brows like a pro. And this is a method that I came up with because I, as you can see, I actually do have, you know, some kind of brow. And so most people just draw theirs on because, you know, they over pluck their brows, over tweeze them, whatever. But me personally, I like to actually use this to shape my brows. And this is just the finishing touch, like little, it's like $10 from Walmart, but it like helps me shape my brows. That way I'm not over plucking them and they will actually grow back in. So let's just get started on how to actually get your brows to look good and look like the Instagram models, like a pro, but on a budget, okay? All right, my, you're gonna need some bomb edge control. So the one I use is from True Doll Vanity. It's Doll Control Maximum Hold for Natural and Relaxed Hair, and it is hair gel. So this one, um, it looks black, but it's actually clear. And I just take my little e.l.f. spoolie brush and pencil, and I will, actually let me clean this off because it has some from last time. All right, so this is the spoolie brush that I use. I just dip it into the edge control just a little bit, and then I will proceed to brush my brows up. So this is what you typically do before you start filling in your brows with like, you'll, you'll typically use a brow gel, but for me, a brow gel will not hold my brows in place all day. My brows will start looking like they did before I actually did my brows. And if you can look at my brows, they're kind of long. So I actually like to kind of swoop down the sides just like that and leave the rest of my brows up. So I'm gonna zoom in and let you guys see my brow, how I do the other brow so you can see exactly how I comb it up. This is my starter brow. You just want to literally comb all of the hairs up. And then if you need to um, grab a little bit more, I didn't really grab a lot this time. And then like I said, I like to shape the end, but leave the rest of the brow. Because when once you like comb your brows up, this is what gives you your brow shape. So I basically have a pretty good brow shape going on. I just have to fill in, especially like the sparse spots like right here and on the tail. So this is what my brows are looking like. And these are just my natural brows. I've never had any microblading or anything like that. So I'm gonna zoom you guys back out and we're gonna get started on actually filling in our brows. Okay, so. um, what I do like to use for my brows since I like a really natural brow now, I actually like to use the same uh, e.l.f you know, pencil. It's the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And this is basically what it looks like. This, it's like a medium brown color, which I like because my brows, they are actually black, but the medium brown color allows me to fill it in more naturally. So basically when I do this, I like to flick, do flicking motions on my brow and try not to overfill my brows. That's, we're going for a natural brow that doesn't look like it's been filled in properly, but You'll see. So let's just get started. Especially at the front, you wanna be light-handed. And then as you get towards the middle and the tail end of the brow, you can kind of apply more pressure.
and that is how you get a really really natural brow now i am going to zoom you guys in for the next brow so you can really like get an in-depth look as to what i'm actually doing and how it looks when you fill it in okay so this is the first brow you see how that looks it's filled in but it looks really really natural it doesn't look like with abh my brows used to look really blocky this allows me that's my normal brow and this is just a little bit filled in we are going to clean up our brow and you will see how pretty it looks and it looks more like a natural brow instead of you know something that <laughs> it's just looking hot mess. all right so let's start on this brow almost like I never filled it in to begin with. And that's what we're going for when we're doing our brows. Okay, so next we are actually going to, I like to add just a little bit more of that, um, a little bit more of that uh, edge control on top of the brow to make sure that it stays in place. And sometimes this is where you can go in and kind of, you know, fix any overshading you might have done before you get to cleaning up your brows my brows are pretty set in place already because this is a pretty good edge control but for video purposes I'm gonna go in again with just a little bit okay now I'm going to take my Fenty concealer in the color 370 and I'm going to take a flat brush to clean up my brow. This flat brush from MAC, oh no, it's from Morphe and it's the M432 brush and I'm just going to grab some of this just like this, get it on here and proceed to clean up my brow. There we go. And any excess product, as you saw, you want to just drag it down and then you will blend that out, obviously. Um, I'm going to use this little foundation brush from e.l.f. And just blend it out. And as you can see, it doesn't even look like I have any concealer on under my eye. And this will actually allow you to go, if you have like, very flawless skin i obviously have some imperfections um like we all do but if you have very flawless skin you can do your brow the way i'm showing you and then you can just go out the house sis because look how natural my brow looks it doesn't look like i've filled it in it doesn't look like i've done any um microblading even though that microblading me coming out flawless but like that price tag sis this is a good way to like Faux laminate your brows without actually having to go in and do it or even buying the at-home kits because that can just be annoying in and of itself this is a cheap alternative for products that you already have at home and you can just make double uses out of I love a multi-purpose item okay because anybody trying to have 30 items to do one look period okay and that is that brow so yeah our brows are finished done I could literally I'm gonna blend this out I could literally walk out of the house right now and I would be just fine see and I just look like you know my hair slate and I have a nice set of brows and that's it so um <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was very informative for you just to give you a little tip and trick the next time you do your brows because I know I wanted to do laminating my brows but I was like sis that's doing a whole lot of whole lot of and then it's not permanent so you got to keep doing and I was like well I might as well just figure out a way to do it myself without spending that quaint 
and this is a good way for me so uh, i hope it was inform informative for you guys let me know down in the comments if you thought it was helpful if you actually tried it and it worked for you sis make sure you get you a good maximum hole edge control not medium hole not soft hole maximum hole sis you want to hold them brows in place all day um and with that being said like comment and subscribe share the video you know i want more of y'all to come back and enjoy the video with your girl um and with that being said i will see you guys in the next banger bye